In the first half in which the Jets and the Dolphins punted the ball a total of nine times, it would have seemed hard to believe that they would combine for 58 points by the end of the game. But that's exactly what happened as the offense has opened things up in the second half and the Jets cruise to a 38-20 win. They just stayed with it, you know. They, they played team football. They played together. They trusted one another. And some plays didn't work and a lot of plays did, but they stayed with the game plan and we carried it through. Ryan Fitzpatrick amassed 277 yards and tallied four touchdown throws. Two of these strikes went to Brandon Marshall, who finished with 131 yards. He's a dominant receiver in this league and has been for 10 years. And so, um, you know, the, just the, the confidence factor, you know, when I, when I throw the ball to him, I know he's going to come down with it. One of the other touchdown throws went to Eric Decker, and the fourth one went to rookie Devin Smith, who is finding his niche in the Jets offense. Such a trust throw, you know, he had to cross the face uh, of an inside leverage corner. Um, he goes up and makes a great catch. I told you Devin was playing faster. It was only a matter of time before he came through and he got, he got two big catches in today. I, I feel great for the kid. He's practicing getting better and he's going to get better. This game marked a reunion for New York as on the other sideline was former defensive end Quentin Copels, who was released by the team earlier this week. Copels denies a report that connected his release to an incident on the team plane. I don't know where that came from. You know, I know the thing was I didn't fit in the defense, so that's why the decision was made. The Jets sit right in the middle of the AFC playoff hunt at 6-5. and five. And as the calendar turns to December, they appreciate playing some meaningful games over the final five weeks of the season. You want to be playing me <coughs> meaningful games in December, and, and that's kind of where we're at right now. The season hasn't been perfect. You know, there's been a lot of bumps so far, but we're playing meaningful games right now. And, uh, you know, we've, we've just got to continue each week to put everything we have into it and, and you know, win these games. The Jets will continue to push for the playoffs against their crosstown rivals, the New York Giants, right back here at MetLife Stadium next Sunday. For 104.5 The Team, I'm Ann Sachs.